Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at Mr. P. Lieberman at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. If we're looking at now a different angle, let's look at a different angle here. We're going to be looking at angle B, and again, our numbers are going to be labeled differently. Let's label the correct size. So the hypotenuse doesn't change. The hypotenuse is always opposite to whatever the right angle is. Okay, opposite to angle B is known as our opposite side, obviously, which leaves the missing or the last uh, side to label the adjacent. And again, we want to think of Sokotoa. Okay. <coughs> so in terms of Sokotoa, if we're trying to find the sine angle of B, okay, so if we're trying to find sine B, if we're trying to find cosine B or tangent B, if we're trying to find sine of B, it's the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. If we're trying to find the cosine B, it's the adjacent to angle B divided by the hypotenuse of angle B. We're not worried about that number. That number is not part of this if we're looking at the cosine okay, ratio. And lastly, if we're looking at the tangent of B, we're looking at what's opposite to B divided by what is adjacent to B. And we're going to worry about what we do with the calculations um, as we get closer to the end of um, these slides, okay, to actually doing the actual calculation. But what we're doing here is we are creating what we call our trig ratios, okay, for the various uh, angles in question. So, use a calculator to determine the following ratio. So take a moment. What you're going to do in order to, to have this, what we, what we have here, anytime we have a number written following the sign, sometimes you might have it appear without this. So we might not see this. That, that represents the angle. So immediately following whatever ratio we are looking at, whenever we have a number, this number represents the angle measurement, okay? That's why we put the degree symbol with all of them, okay? So whenever we have that, it means a degree symbol. So what you do when you're typing into your calculator the following results, you are gonna hit the sign button and then you're gonna type in the numbers 21. So when you type that in to your calculator, you will get the following result. 0 0.3584. And this represents the sine ratio of those two sides of question. So we think about Sokotoa. If we divided the opposite over the hypotenuse, we would get this ratio. Okay, so that angle, now we're doing the reverse. Okay, we've got the angle, and now we're just trying to find the actual sine ratio. So take a minute, pause the, uh, the, the lesson, and try to find the cosine of 53 degrees and the tangent of 72. Welcome back. So hopefully um, you understood how to process these into your calculator. So when you put that into your calculator, you're going to hit cosine button, as is, and then type in the numbers 53 and hit enter. And you'll get the following ratio. And this is the cosine ratio. And this is based on the cosine of whatever the, of the angle, well this angle happened to be cosine 53 degrees, it's equal to whatever the uh, adjacent was divided by the hypotenuse, which gave us this result. And that's really what we're trying to find. And then lastly here, tan of 72 degrees, type it into our calculator, we get the value 3.0777.
determine the following angles and now to the nearest degree. So we're not going to, we're, we're going to round off. So what we're doing here is we are trying to find the angle. Anytime we need to find the angle, okay, we use what we call pretty much the inverse, okay, the inverse of sine. Okay, so anytime we want to find the angle, we use the inverse of sine. And, and in your calculator, it might appear as follows. So sine negative 1. So you might have to hit uh, a function key. You might have to hit the secondary function button. Um, you should know, pretty much have an understanding of your calculator at this point. Okay, so what we have here is we have the ratios. Okay. So we have ratios here. So this ratio here is the sine ratio, cosine ratio, tan ratio. Notice here, sine A. In this place, we usually have an angle. But that's what we're trying to find. We're trying to find angle A. What is angle A? We're trying to find here what is angle B. Here, we're trying to find what is angle C. Okay. So we do that by using what we call the inverse function. So what we have here is the inverse, which as we said is the sine negative 1 being multiplied uh, by whatever the ratio is, which will give us now our angle A, which is equal to 24 degrees. Okay, so take a moment. Okay, so what we did was we took the inverse and multiplied it by the, you'll know, again, you'll, you should know, have an understanding of, of your calculator and how your calculator works. So what you're going to do is you're going to find the inverse of the following ratios to give you your angle. So pause the, uh, the lesson right now and try to find the angle B and try to find angle C. Welcome back. So hopefully um, it uh, all worked out. Fine. If we're trying to find angle B, again, we're using the inverse cosine because we're trying to find the angle based on whatever our ratio is. So notice here the inverse, and here is what we're trying to find our angle. Okay. And the last one, if we're trying to find angle C, oh, sorry, uh, f forgot to find angle B. Angle B is 47 degrees. And if we want to find angle C, it's the inverse of tan of 1.562. And our angle C is equal to 57 degrees.